Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to root and install a custom recovery on the Samsung Galaxy A6 2016, this is the 10.1 model I think. So um, yeah, what you're gonna need is an SD card which is uh, inserted into the tablet and also you gonna need a um, uh, USB cable which can transfer data. So no, most cables can do that, but some don't. It needs to be updated on Android 8 or 8.1. I think it's Android 8.1. And yeah. So what you're gonna do is go into information about the tablet and there is a model number. Right, take a look at that. It can be SMT580 or SMT585, um, depending on your model. So they also have other names which are just shown up right now in the left corner up in the video. Right, it's also the T580 is also called GTA XL Wi Fi, and the T585 is also called GTA XLTE. LTE, I mean. Right, so yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, right. So, we're gonna start off. We're gonna start off by installing some USB drivers, you know. Also, uh, all your data will be lost if you do this um, procedure. Right, so we're gonna just download some. USB drivers, you can get them here on Samsung developers. Just get the, get the zip file, right? But I think it for me it wasn't really a zip, it was just an exe which I could was able to open directly. So it's just, just an installer, sometimes it's also packed in a zip, but I don't know. So right, and this installer straight forward like every normal uh, Windows installer, just click next, 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 next and install and then it go it's going to install. Also I'm sorry that everything around here is German on my recordings but yeah right I'm from Germany and in here <laughs> in this country everything's German you know. So right after installing it uh, just click finish um, right. and so the next thing we're gonna need is um, a utility called Odin and uh, also everything is free and I put the links down in the video description for you just to download right you're gonna go on the website and just click on the first download now right and sometimes your wire scanner will say eh, that's a wires don't don't download that blah 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 just deactivate your wire scanner and you should be good to go it isn't a wires I promise just Odin free we're gonna need that because <laughs> Samsung do doesn't have fast boot, they have OD3, I hate that so much, right, but uh, yeah, right, so what we're gonna do now is we, uh, yeah, right, take a look at these files, there's this exe, this is the importance file, we're gonna need that later, but for now we just need to download um, the cut and the with cast recovery so just go on this site, it's for XDA developers, and the first time I hope you uh, wrote down your model number and the model name and such things um because we're gonna need it now just choose the ver the, li the link for your comp uh, for your device so it's gonna show up in the uh, google drive both files again just choose again the white room for your device and also uh, download the archive that that ta archive because um yeah right we're gonna need that uh, so you're gonna see in the right corner of google drive that it is data which is important right so download it download it don't extract it just put it into the um, Odin folder so we're gonna uh, we're gonna download some zip files too you I will put them in the Odin folder but you don't have to it's just that I want to organize them like that so that I know where they are they don't need to be in the Odin folder just for people asking the point data will need to be in the Odin folder the other stuff so now you're gonna go on another link which I provided in the video description this is like a no warranty blah 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 file just download it uh, I re-uploaded it uh, if the owner wants to put down the download just write me but I couldn't find this file elsewhere right so I re-uploaded it um, so after you did that for the people who want to root their device too we're gonna need to go on another link uh, it's again XDA developers uh, it's the magix uh, systemless root just go and do the download section and click on latest stable and it's gonna going to download you the file you need right so just wait until it's downloaded and then I'm gonna put that too in the Odin folder right so what we're gonna do now is um, 
we going to need to plug our tablet into our computer via the USB cable. After you did that, just make sure it's set to uh, data transfer like shown in the video and also it's gonna ask you if you want to allow the computer to access uh, phone uh, tablet data just click on allow and it should be good to go it should show up now on your computer and you go and click on card because this is your internet the SD card and you copy the magics and the novelty zip files over just like that and after you did that um uh, we are uh, needing to set up some things so go again back into the settings of the tablet right and you're gonna go down uh, under uh, tablet information there should be a developer options if they aren't there just go on software information and click uh, on the build number until down there uh, it shows the message uh, developer mode is active now and then you should see the developer options under the information about the tablet right and you're gonna activate OEM unlock and also you're gonna activate USB debugging so yeah right after you did that, we are going to turn off the tablet, right? So just turn it off like normal. So uh, it, because it is still plugged in into the computer, it's gonna go into this charging mode, you see? So what you're gonna do is unplug it from your computer and wait until it's completely off. So, um... You can check that if you just tap the power button and it doesn't turn on the display then it's completely off. You see? And right, what you're gonna do now is going into the download mode. You're gonna do this by holding down power, volume down and home at the same time. That's a bit hard but it should be uh, possible, right? And if you did everything right, it should go into, warning, into the smart warning mode. So what you're gonna do now is uh, start up Odin on your computer just click on the exe and then click on the code okay right and you're gonna now uh, press volume up on your tablet and gonna plug it in to your computer and it should show up in the log of Odin edit then everything worked so you're gonna click on AP and uh, choose the TVRP data Right, and what you're gonna do also is going into options and uh, uh, uncheck auto reboot. Then pr just press start. And after it says pass in the left up corner of Odin, you can go back to your tablet. So it, now this is a pr bit tricky part. You're gonna need to uh, 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 press power and volume down in, in that moment where the screen turns black. You need to press power, volume up and home and hold that. Uh, it, maybe you need more than one attempt. If you do need another attempt, just go back into the download mode and do the Odin steps again. Right, and ev if everything worked out, you should get the team win screen. Right, and now you are the first time in your recovery. What we're gonna need to do is you can select your language if you want, and then you just swipe to allow modifications. Um, right, and what you're gonna do is go on uh, wipe, and then on format data, and then type yes, and then hit on OK. Uh, this is necessary because the data partition on the tablet is encrypted and otherwise we can't, we aren't able to write anything. Now we're gonna go on install, choose our micro SD card and choose the novelty blah 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 file and just swipe to install it. Right, and it's going to install it, it takes a moment, right? So after you did that, uh, wipe the cache and download. Just swipe again. Right, and what you're gonna pick now is a reboot system and do not install. Right, and uh, it's going to take now uh, where it's going to be a pre pretty long boot up. It's gonna take a bit longer, but after it's done, you can uh, you are in the setup menu like you bought your tablet brand new because it's uh, uh, reset it to factory. Uh, origin to original factory state right so I set it up now like it's totally connecting it to my Google account and stuff and as you can see uh, Android still works and we got our custom recovery now but 
so for the people who don't want to root that device, the tutorial ends now. For the people who still want to root that device, um, we're gonna need to do some stuff now. <laughs> right, we're gonna go into the Play Store and I'm just gonna download a free app called Root Tracker. So the basic version of this app is completely free. Um, so it, it's the ba you, you only need the basic version to track root. So after booting it up, it gets like this, this disclaimers and stuff. It's because I live in Germany, uh, we are pretty bureaucratic country. Right, and you just just <sighs> right, and just just click everything away and then hit on uh, check root. And as you can see, you will see that it gives you back an error because, yeah, you, as I already said, it isn't rooted right now. It isn't rooted. So what you're gonna do um, to root it is you um, going to you are going to shut down the tablet again, right? So after you sh uh, sh shut down the tablet, you're gonna hold down power, volume up, and home. This is the combination to get into the recovery, as already said, right? And you're gonna go back into Team Bin, as you can see. And what you're gonna do is um, and just again swipe to allow modifications, and uh, right? What you're gonna do is tap install, and then just select the SD card again. And what you're gonna do is uh, just uh, flash like the magics blah 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 file, and just flash it, and it's going to. It's going to take a while again. In this moment, your device gets rooted, or yeah, right. And after it's done, you can swipe, you can delete again the Dalvik and cache, blah blah blah. And then you can reboot the uh, device and click Do Not Install, right. And now, what my tablet did is like it gets stuck in this Android uh, Get Started screen. So if you are Stars 2, what you're gonna do is you are going to. Uh, you are going to uh, press vo power and volume down, which is going to do a hard reset, right? And just 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 press it and hold it until your tablet restarts. And as you can see here, um, it's gonna boot up normally, and it's wo it's also <laughs> booted up successful now. So successfully now, right? And uh, now you can swipe up and. Uh, just wait a minute and uh, sh sh shortly there should be a Magix Manager app, right? And then uh, your routing, your route worked. So it should be now successfully routed. And uh, so I just did go back into uh, TeamViewer. And I'm just gonna show you something. Um, so we're just gonna start up Team uh, Magix Ma Manager again. And as you can see, there is an update for Magix Manager. But Magix itself is on the newest um, update. It's always up to date because you can install just the Magix Manager update via an APK, which you can download. That's very easy. So I just did go back into Root Checker. And as you can see, if we now check root, it's gonna give you this super user request, which you're gonna allow. And as you can see, it says now that our device is rooted. The stuff this is, that is still red is like BusyBox, but you don't need to install it. I think it's BusyBox because BusyBox is installed. But if you want to install BusyBox, you can do, just do it from the Play Store. Right, so this is everything you need to know. I hope, really hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, uh, just like share with your friends, give me a like, sub, give me a sub, and yeah, right. So, <laughs> I'm maybe I'm doing another English video. Until then, bye.